All right, Grease, it's time for another Buy Bar Pass video. That's what I do in a bar. All right, these are our review videos we call Buy Bar and Pass. It's our simple rating system where you either buy it, so buy a bottle, bar, which is find a way to try it, whether it be at a bar, from a friend's house, at a liquor store that is allowed to uh, open and, and give you samples, or pass, don't waste your money or time trying to find it. And Grease, what do we have today? Oh my gosh, we have the limited release from Jack Daniels, Tennessee whiskey, single barrel, limited release, boom, coming at a whopping 141.9 proof. Now, I will say this much, there's multiple proofs of this. There are higher proofs of this. I've seen one all the way up to almost, I think it was 149 proof. 149? It was insane. I saw it on the internet, and so I assume they checked their facts. Uh, I don't know. You got Wikipedia that. The, I have seen, now, normally all of these are labeled as hazmat. However, I have- It's not one, labeled as hazmat. Well, a lot of them are coming in at 140 plus. A lot of them. In their release, I they have said a 139.9. In their release, they said that the lowest proof, I think, is 137. So they're all very high proof. And what we've got is when they do these special releases each year, they're single barrels. So there was the Heritage Barrel a couple years ago. Last year, we had the Barrel Proof Rye. Yeah. This one is called Coy Hill High Proof. And so Coy Hill a hill is a Coy. hill on the Jack Daniels Distillery property. It's uh, one of the higher elevations. And then they pulled from two barrel houses, number eight and number 13. This one happens to come from number 13. And it says, aged up in the, quote, buzzard's roost of our barrel houses on Coy Hill and bottled uncut at higher proofs. Yeah. Now, because it's got the altitude, it's high up in that uh, that Rick house, that's where you're getting these a lot of the heat, which is causing evaporation of the water and a lot higher proof whiskey. It also says- the you're, special, you're also gonna get a lot more oak influence too, because right. it's gonna be pulling it in the wood. 100%. This says, uh, this special release highlights our innovative whiskey making here at Jack Daniels Distillery. Hand selected from the highest parts of our barrel houses and bottled from single barrels, we extend this one of a kind craftsmanship to you. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, dive into this one, see how it compares even to the standard barrel proof uh, selects that you can get and see where we go. So let's pour it up, Grease. I'm pretty sure that someone stole my barrel proof rye release. So that's a very did fair it in a video. potential. But I love that you immediately jumped to someone stole something from you. Well, I there's just a clutter of barrels and bottles everywhere. I don't know where it is. <laughs> that's why I like you. Oh, that looks great. Do that again. All right, so right off the bat, the color oh. is very dark, very rich. You can tell there's a lot of concentration of I don't flavor know. in this. I don't know if we're going to get to the palate because the nose is stupid. The nose so is good. so good. So good. And I don't even like, I don't even like, oh, the nose. Like, I actually make fun of people that like the nose. Because it's like, what, 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 you don't nose, you can nose whiskey, but I mean, that's not going to get you to, you know, where you need to be. It smells fantastic. It does smell really great. It definitely smells complex on the nose. Brown, I mean, like a little bit of brown sugar there. Oh my goodness. So much barrel influence on that. It's thick. It's oily. Oh. It doesn't taste oh. like standard Jack Daniels by any means. There's some chocolate in that. Chocolate. I get the chocolate notes. Like milk chocolate, Ooh, not bitter chocolate. Like right. Sweet chocolate. Sweet chocolate, oak, and just a hint of that uh, like caramelized banana chicken. on the back of yeah, it. Like chicken. you'd get from a, a traditional Jack Daniels barrel proof. But by no means does this taste like just a standard single barrel release. No, not at all. Um, uh, it's Speaking a, of standard it, barrel release, let, wait, let's yeah, let's pour it up while we're here. Let's 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 side by side. Now this is a pick uh, that Will and I were kind of sort of a part of. So now this and one Jeff is Arnett. this is from uh, Southern Whiskey Society uh, oh. Summer Edition 2020, and this one is 133.2. So you know, a lot lower. Well, I mean, eight eight proof points. You're still up in the okay, astronomical this, range at this point. This is way more on profile for Jack. I'm oh, not yeah. getting any different nose on this. Which is not bad. I mean, 
This tastes like a hundred proof. Really good. All well, right. Really good. A little proof goes a long way. This has a little bit more bitterness to it. The the yeah. single barrel barrel proof. It's more stringent, honestly. Mm -hmm. This um so here's what's also interesting. This barrel like, entry This feels higher proof, but it drinks better because there's a ton of flavor. This one has a little bit less flavor, but it's it's more chill on the proof side of mm. things, but it actually tastes more astringent. So here's an interesting uh, point, too, because there's not a lot of uh, age-stated Jack Daniels, right? We saw the 10-year, right. but this has an age statement uh, in effect because it's bottled and barrel. Uh, August 17th, uh, 2012 was the barrel entry. And bottling date was September 24th, 2021. So that is over nine years old yeah. in, in this whiskey. So okay. older than normal Jack Daniels. Uh, definitely going to be older than the single barrel that we're getting, which is normally like the six to seven year range. This is over nine years old. So you're, you're already getting some extra age. But I'm telling you, the flavor pop when you take this, first of all, it's bold. Oh, it's yeah, no. in your face, but it doesn't. That nine year age range, it's it's mellowed enough that it's not just lighting your chest on fire. You know what I mean? Yeah, I will say this about this pour. It is almost immediate of a wow factor. Right. Like on the nose, wow. On the palate, wow. It settles good. You got a good like burn to it, but it's but it's flavorful. This is a thousand percent buy for this year. Yes. I haven't had the Heritage Barrel. Have you had the Heritage? You have had it. A friend of ours poured it for us a few years ago, uh, and you liked it. It was good. It, and it kind of I don't remember broke it, out though. on the scene. It, it was rated very well. It was their first like single barrel release uh, in this limited series. Obviously, we went crazy over the rye. That was a buy. This... I'd have to go back to the ride, but this may be my favorite thus far. It's just so much complexity. It's big. It's bold. In a year where there's no George T. Stag, it's filling a God, very. That's the truth. It's filling a very stag-sized hole. Um, I'm a buy. It's like sixty nine dollars retail. Now it's going to be a little bit harder to find because people are now starting to come around to the Jack Daniels releases and starting yeah. to be bigger fans of them. And that's been over the last six months. But. Of of the limited allocated stuff that's going to be out this year, it's going to be a little bit easier for people to find, and probably at a more reasonable price than some of those BTAC bottles or things. It's a contender for me for one of my favorite whiskeys of the year. I will go on record and say this for 2021, it's top five for me thus well, far. I mean, what? Uh, yeah, I don't know what tops it at this point. I don't know. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. Will. Buy bar pass. What did you pay for it? Uh, I think it was sixty nine dollars plus tax. Yep, so that's what I paid for the one thirty nine point nine. So you know what? At that price, buy. Oh, it's a thousand all percent. day long. It's a thousand percent. Could buy. not agree with you more. How much money would you pay for that? I think this is a hundred and twenty dollar bottle. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. It it drinks bold. It's got the character. It's got the flavor. It's unique. It's not run of the mill. Um, yeah, I mean, if if they said SRP was one twenty, I'd pay that all day it's for run it. Run of the mill, man. like I know that it's like, oh, it's normal. But where, where on God's earth did that come from? You don't even know. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching our buy bar pass review. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up and ring that bell so you get notifications when new videos drop. You can support us at Patreon.com/slash the podcast and. That's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. We love the fire out of y'all. Go and check out our video content. Tell your friends about it. We love y'all. Mean it. Bye.